So basically why I'm upgrading to this Windows 11 version 24s2 because this comes with lots of new features and it is faster than previous versions. We have less than one year Microsoft ending the support of Windows 10. So basically I have decided to upgrade to Windows 11. So this is my Windows 10 laptop because I'm in a full time Android developer. So I use this laptop for my development work. So Windows 10 is working very very smoothly. No issue at all. You can see the resources use is also very normal like 4% and 149 processes using RAM 3.2 GBs. RAM usage depends upon your how much RAM you currently have in your system so no issue at all. So basically I'm going to upgrade this system and I will show you how to upgrade without losing any data. Okay so let's get into the process how to do it. So before that if your windows is not activated or maybe you are looking for cheaper windows key you can visit this keysfan.com. They are offering legit windows keys. So these are OEM keys that's why it is cheaper. Currently they are running 50% off and you can use this JD50 coupon code and they also have Microsoft Pro professional office keys and uh, they also have bundle plan so whichever you like you can just buy now after buying this product you will get windows or office keys on your email first thing you need to check your system is compatible for windows 11 or not if it is not uh, compatible just go and enable the secure boot and tpm and that's it so basically my system completely supported i know it go on google and type here windows 11 download and go to official microsoft website here you will see pc health check app so download or install it i already installed it so let me open my this PC health check app and check now so you can see it is fully supported no issue at all so basically we have three methods here so I'm going to use the ISO method because we can use the ISO in future also before downloading the ISO you need to know which language edition you have installed in your current system I'm going to CMD and type here this command so this will let you know like EN US so English United States language is installed select here multi edition download select here language like English United States and that's it and now click on 64 bit download ok so let it download the ISO so we have downloaded the ISO go into folder and mount this file and just run the setup here click on next Now we have option like ready to install, install Windows 11 Pro, keep personal file and app. So no data deletion at all. Click on install and uh, it will install directly in your system. So basically it is going to upgrade your system to Windows 11. You don't need to do anything. Just sit tight. You will directly jump into Windows 11. Okay. So now we have upgraded to Windows 11 as you can see here and uh, you can see all files are same. No data deletion at all. And this looks pretty cool and fast. So basically why I'm upgrading to this Windows 11 version 24s2 because this comes with lots of new features and it is faster than previous versions i already showed so many comparison videos so you can follow that so you will know yeah this is really faster and some people are complaining like we are getting blue screen death errors everyone is not getting one two percent people are getting error because of some hardware issues so don't worry about anything if you get any error you can roll back so mostly people are using it very smoothly no issue at all in task manager you can see processes are only just 151 so because i'm using this recorder and the memory you can see 4.1 gb because i'm running this uh, screen recorder here so basically overall experience is very smooth so i'm not going to say like don't install just go and upgrade to windows 11 if you are using windows 10 so this is a process to upgrade windows 11 without any kind of problem so let me know your thoughts about this windows 11 version 24s2 i already have a video on my channel to what new features are coming in this version so you can follow that